Today's goal is to uh, flush out this tank and put muriatic acid in it and get rid of the rust. You see in there, see the rust? Oh, that's all rusted up. The carburetor, one carburetor was clogged up. I have to clean that out or you can't drive it. It'll cause problems later. Okay, here's my gas tank. This is a drain hose. I'm gonna have to take the petcock off because I don't want that acid inside the petcock and I have to clean this anyway and inspect it. But look at this. I see that rust, all that rust there. I'm gonna have to sand the bottom of this tank off and then repaint the whole bottom and this whole ridge. I don't know if there's a chrome thing that goes over it, but, and even if there isn't, I'm gonna to need to paint this anyway. So I'm gonna sand down the edge and feather these down and get the rust spots out right here, see? There's a bubble underneath there. I'm gonna break it off, I'm gonna do it anyway. There it goes. So, it looks like I'm gonna end up painting this before it, I drive it. And then, I have to figure out how to get this dent out. And I'm gonna see a friend that does this kind of work. He's a motorcycle rider, and, and he knows how to do that. I'm gonna see what happens. Now this is what you need to clean out these tanks. You need the muriatic acid, you're gonna need a wrench to take the petcock off, and then you're gonna need some water. And you, you open it up, put the water in half full, a quart of muriatic acid, and then fill it the rest of the way with water. And that's what uh, cleans out all the rust and everything out of the tank. But the petcock has to be off, and I'm gonna put a piece of aluminum in some a glass dish here, and we're gonna see what happens with the acid. I'm gonna see what happens myself. Now I'm gonna add the water and the muriatic acid and just let it foam out of here. Okay, water first, always water first. Never pour water into acid. Always pour acid into water. If you pour the water into the acid, it could blow up on you, splatter all over, and it's not gonna be a good day. See, it's on the paint there. You don't want it on the paint. Now let's take a look inside. You can see the rust in there. Look at that rust on the bottom. See if I stop the glare, look at that. Now we're gonna eat that rust off and I'm gonna let it sit until it's done. This is one hour and 20 minutes and it's not quite done yet. It needs to go uh, some more, but I shook it around and there's a lot of junk. You can see the water's dirty now. It's dirty with the rust that's on the bottom. But I'm gonna let it go a little bit longer here. And I also, I added about uh, twice as much of acid, I put that much more acid in. While we're waiting here, I'm gonna try some of this acid, just for curiosity. I'm gonna take an old penny, a newer penny, an aluminum nail, a chunk of aluminum with grease on it. This is a steel. And this here is a piece of paper. Let's see what the acid does. There's muriatic acid.
It's eating aluminum really fast. Look at that. The aluminum's getting eaten really fast. That's something else. The old penny's eating really fast. The newer penny isn't doing much. The coloring on top of the uh, washer right here, this coloring on that washer there came off. It was the first thing. The very first thing, as soon as the acid hit it, the coloring fizzed. Look at that acid on the aluminum. That's something else. Look at that nail. Shrunk it down, I'll tell you that. It really shrunk it down. Now I've drained the tank and I'm going to put some water in it and I'm going to flush it out. I might have left it a little bit longer even. But I'm flushing it all at an angle to make sure it gets flushed. I have the pet cock off and right now this is draining out. Well, I'm physically done now. Uh, I've done enough bending that I just can't do it anymore. And it's really made a big difference. The large pieces are still there. I'm surprised. Look at that. They wash right up, though. Look at that. Well, here's the vacuum petcock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart and inspect it for rust. Okay, here's the mounting plate. There's the spring. There's the cap. There's the diaphragm. And there's the rust. Not a lot of rust. I was expecting uh, so much more. Now see carb cleaner? You never want to use carb cleaner on any of this rubber because it'll eat all the rubber your carburetor up and everything and I'm well experienced with that so you never want to even take a chance. Don't get it even near your your stuff there. It's only for bare metal. Okay so we inspected it and there's nothing in there. And the spring goes on. And I forgot which way they had this. <laughs> Let's see, I forgot which way this went on. Holy moly. Okay, this is how it goes back. Together. Everything's clean inside. Put this screw in, it goes by itself, and that'll hold it down. This goes up here like this. Then these get run down. This looks like a new fuel line, but look at it, it was crimped. They had it crimped, so it, look at that, that's what was happening. It was starving the fuel. I actually burned up a motorcycle because of that. Uh, and this here, there's no rust at all, so they put this on afterwards, and they had a lot of things messed up underneath the tank, as far as the vacuum hoses were, weren't put on properly.